One, two, three amazing games you can make with the Marching Squares algorithm. In this course, you will make a fun digging game. And here's how we are going to do it. To start off, we will explore the theory behind the algorithm. You will learn about the concepts of vertices, triangles, and configuration. After that, you will make your first procedural mesh, a square. Uh, uh, I promise it's going to be better after that. A little exercise will help you check if you're ready for the next step. You will have to make a diamond shape. Uh, almost there, almost there, bear with me. But after setting up the 16 possible configurations of the algorithm, you'll be able to create a mesh for each one of them. Finally, see, I told you it was going to be better. Okay, cool, but this is not enough. You will learn how to add a pinch of interpolation to the mesh, and voila, it becomes way smoother and usable. All along the way, you will deal with invisible values, so that's why I decided to show you how to use the Unity's Gizmo system to visualize data and also debug your game. Finally, mixing the invisible values, it's called a scalar field, and our beloved interpolated square will give birth to the fully working marching squares algorithm. At that point, we could stop, but no, we will craft our own equation to carve the terrain with nice circles, separate our terrain in chunks for better performance, learn how to use the profiler to optimize our game even further, and add a collider to interact with physics objects. This, my friend, is what you will be able to achieve after taking this course. I can't wait to help you level up as a game developer, so let's start this journey today.